What's up YouTube? Today we are talking about speed ramping and how you become a pro in this amazing technique. Let's go! So I've got two shots right here. One is from a huge electronic festival uh, in the near of the Netherlands and the other one is from the Berlin Carnival, how my friend counted that in. So since the first shot is pretty long, uh, we are going to speed ramping it and making it match to the music. Just turn on your clip, your music clip, find the right spot, bring up the speed of the clip by hitting Command R. So I decide to slow down the clip at first. And from here on, we are going to make our speed ramp. Find an interesting spot in the song and in your clip where you want the speed ramp to start. So just hit Shift and B and that creates this little marker over here. Now you go forward in the clip and search where your speed ramp should stop. So let's say over here, simply press Shift B to create a second marker. Now you could just drag that marker towards another to make the clip speed up or hit this little button right here, go to fast and choose the speed you want. Let's say times 20. All right. Now you see those gray boxes over here, they are like a transition box to smooth out the start, like a ramp, like a speed ramp, or just hit it with the new speed. So we are crop them a bit together to make it look more dramatic and more, you know. But still, it does not 100% fit the music. So why is that? Our speed ramping is not perfectly matched on the beat. So we tap this little uh, gray transition zone over here, click on edit source frame. And now we can just drag it where we want, to, uh, where we want the speed ramp to start or end. So let's talk about speed ramp transition and how you could use those speed ramps to make amazing transitions. So the first clip ends with a camera pen to the left, while the second clip starts with a camera pen to the right. Now, in order to get really smooth speed ramp transitions, make sure that your camera movement from the from the first shot is matching the camera movement from the second shot. So my first clip ends with a left camera pen and my second clip starts with a right camera pen. So what we are going to do is we go to the effects panel, we type in flipped, apply that to the second clip and now our right camera pen actually become a left camera pen. So we are going to search where the movement actually starts and look in our first clip that the movement hasn't stopped already. Then we go back with the cursor where we want our speed ramp to start, shift B and choose fast. Let's try eight times. Do that with the second clip as well. Go into the clip, say shift B, fast eight times, give it a try. So now our speed ramp looks pretty nice so far, but there is something missing. And I would say, let's try motion blur. If you don't know what motion blur is, I'll leave you a link down in the description to my tutorial video about motion blur. You get free motion blur plugins and I show you what motion blur can do to an amazing speed ramp transition like this. So let's use motion blur strong, apply that onto your footage, crop it to the right size. You can let it overlap a bit, copy that and apply it to this one as well. Let's have a look. All right, guys, 
If you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell me in the comments what you want to see next and see you in the next one.